Hey everybody, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. Today we're going to be starting a new stage, Flatline. Enjoy this cutscene. You think that was 47-2? We knew it was. We were so confident we set up an international task force to hunt him down and destroy him. Even assuming this guy exists, he's still just an assassin. What's the big deal? The big deal? He's the perfect clone. His DNA is a how-to manual for any cloning lab in the world. With Mr. 47 in their clutches, there'd be nothing to stop a rogue state from building an entire platoon of 47s. A whole army. These public statements you've been making against cloning, is this what it's all about? Of course. But surely you can't oppose all the uses of cloning. The medical advances, the possible curing of- Medicine won't do us much good if we're all the slaves of some clone army dictatorship, will it? Off the record, Jack. You're not serious. You have no idea how serious. That's why we had to eliminate 47. Having him on the loose was just too dangerous. Why not go after whoever created him? Oh, we did. But whenever we got too close, our agents got killed. By 47? See for yourself. Eleven forty-five. I'm sorry we have to meet like this. It's dangerous to meet in person. You're normally more prudent. What's going on? Looks like we've got a mole at the agency. Here's your briefing. Thanks. I'll read it later. How's that wound healing? Fine. Are we done here? One thing. We haven't been able to get a positive ID on the target. There's a government agent in there already, though we think he knows. The price for his knowledge is getting him out alive. And that raises my price. Already factored in. Take this. Designer poisons? The clinic only lets clients out when they're fully recovered or dead. The injection puts its victim into a hibernatory state. Apply the antidote on the lips to revive them. What if this agent's already dead? I trust you, 47. The money's been transferred to your account. It's good to have you back, 47. I'm glad to hear you're fully recovered. Your next assignment's in Northern California. Three mobsters have been checked into a rehab clinic for alcoholics. One of them plans to turn State's witness as soon as he's discharged. Our client wants to avoid that, but we don't know which of the three is the target. An undercover agent placed at the clinic to find out hasn't been heard from in a few days. The clinic will only discharge patients if they're sober or dead. The agent who's in there is apparently being kept drunk for unknown reasons, so you'll have to kill him to get him out, but we need him alive. We're giving you an experimental serum that'll give him the appearance of being dead, along with the antidote to bring him back once you're out. Something's very wrong at this clinic, 47. Keep your eyes open. So we're bringing our trusty silver baller with us once again, and we got a few doodads attached to it. Uh, well, here's a conversation. Let's listen in. He was a client. Turns out he was a doc. Wanted to talk to the guy in confinement. Didn't look like a doctor to me. Tell me about it. But he had all the right creds, and he didn't look like the kind of guy who'd appreciate a lot of questions. He sure didn't. Hmm, an albino person. Sounds very suspicious. I think that'll be coming up later on. Uh, but the truth is, I don't really pay too much attention to the story. Um, well, here's something we can climb up. Let's climb. Because there's nothing more fun than climbing up things very, very slowly. And in the right there is one of our targets. Um, we'll be getting to him. Hey, buddy, how's it going? And, uh, oh, hello, sir. What's What seems to be the trouble? Uh, wow. He had his gun out. He really didn't want me climbing, did he? Well, <clears throat> first things first... We need to get this. Shoes, bastards. The guy's entitled to drink every now and then. 
Who do they think, do they, they, think are? they are? All right, we need to get this red piece of paper on the bench here. But uh, I don't want to be caught. I wonder if that cop will care. Oh, he didn't see us. And the, the police officer didn't seem to care. And that's just fine with me. So, oh, and there's another one of our targets. No, there's going to be a lot of split screening going on in this level. Well, I'm going to head up to the clinic here and try to get checked in. Oh, on a side note, there's a camera there. I'm not sure if there are any other cameras in the level, but that one's pretty easy to avoid. And uh, let's head on inside. Did that weird new doc brief you on the client in confinement? What new doc, nurse? You know, the not-so-nice one. He kind of looked like an albino. I don't know who you're talking about. Well, he just saw the one client and then left in a hurry, so I'm sure it was no big deal. He was scary, though. All right, so clearly this albino is doing something to that agent that we need to get outside. And, huh. Well, here's the entrance, but there's a guard posted there. Hello, nurse. Hello, nurse. Uh, yeah. So, oh, I forgot about this. We have a silver baller on us, and we can't go past him without alerting him. So, uh, let's try to find a different way in. Well, it turns out I didn't really need to steal that piece of paper to begin with. But, well. Alright, this looks like it's climbable. And it is, so let's head on up here. And, oh no, I think that, yeah, that nurse just saw us. Uh, she's gotta, she's gotta go. Sorry, lady. Let's head on over here. And I think there's someone who can help us out inside here. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Oh, poor guy. He just wanted to get sober, didn't he? He just wanted to get sober and move on with his life. You know, that guy, he's not ripped like most of the characters are in this game, I just noticed. And the body's been discovered. That's not great for us. I was hoping... I was hoping I could get rid of the body before that happened, but... Well, we're not discovered, so it's... You know, it's not a big deal. Let's head on. Whoa! Here, buddy, gonna be Whoa, buddy, calm down. Jesus. Whew, I'm just here to get sober. Well, first things first, uh, we need to set up an accident, so let's head on through here, I think, yeah, and we're going to be doing a little killing here, too, in a later, much later, and here's our accident, that very heavy chandelier, and a certain someone is going to be taking a drink out of that globe, so we're going to take him out a little later, uh, we're going to plant a bomb right here. There we go. And we're going to keep it there for later use. Now, the second thing we need to do is we need to get a better outfit. One that will give us more access. And here it is. We are now Dr. 47. Doesn't he look handsome? And that tag says Greg Thurman on it, but I don't think anyone will notice. They're all too drunk and high to notice anyway. So, uh... Trying to think, what's our next move? I guess our next move is to find that agent, that, that guy that we have to get out, so we can tell us who specifically to kill. And it's really tempting to, to drop the chandelier on him right now, but I feel like that's cheating. I'm gonna save that for the speed run. Oh, and here's another target, that guy in the blue. Maybe you saw him, maybe you didn't. And, uh... Before we head on, I want to figure something out, okay? Great. We'll be coming back to the kitchen later, too. This level is all about preparation. You know, if, if you want to kill your target and not get caught, you have to prepare. Oh, all right, so... That poor nurse. And... Yeah. We don't need to steal the videotape, so we'll leave it alone. And we gotta head through here. So, uh, this next area we're in, the therapist isn't allowed. I'm not sure why he's not allowed. It doesn't really make any sense. I mean, uh, I realize this probably isn't his place, but 
I mean, I don't understand why they'd be hostile towards a therapist in here. Maybe it's because they mistreat the patients and they don't want the therapist to see? I don't know. Uh, the, the idea I get of mental institutes and clinics, and I know this is probably wrong, maybe, but is that they're usually abused or something? I don't know. Um, huh. Well, okay, I think there are two more orderlies in here, so we gotta be careful that they don't run away and tell their friends. There's one guy there, I think there's another guy, I'm not sure where he is. I'm gonna mosey on down here, and good, he's in the room by himself, nowhere to go, and I'm gonna push him and push him and push him until... Yes, knockout. Now, we don't want him to be a witness, so, uh, yeah. Goodbye. Uh-oh. Seems like our friend in the chair has been discovered by the last orderly in this area. Uh, and he's calling it in. You know, that guy... Ha, awesome. I didn't, I didn't mention it before, but... When you push people and they fall into an object, like a wall or a rail, they actually get knocked out. That's pretty useful. So, uh, I think our agent is in here. Let's see. And, huh, you know, he looks a little familiar. Let's close the door and have a chat. You. I should have known. Sedating me. Psychotropics. The things they've done. <sighs> Figures. They'd send you to clean up my mess. Th this is the guy. Here. I'm getting you out of here. They'll never let me out alive. I know. I like the way he says, I know. It's very funny um, to me. So, there we go. Ah. And you can get in trouble if one of the orderlies sees you, but they're all dead, so that's not Identity uh, an obtained. Issue. Executing rest of assignment. Splendid, 47. It might interest you to know the following. A sudden shift in the delicate power balance of the New York families. Two low-level contracts just came in. In addition to your primary target, two members of the same group are currently staying at the facility. Terminating either will result in a $50,000 bonus per head. It's entirely up to you. Understood. Alright, so our one target became three targets. And let's skedaddle back to the main clinic. And see what we can do. Now, like I was saying before, preparation is key for this level because... Otherwise, you could easily find yourself in a firefight, uh, surrounded on all sides by guards and with guns. And not very good, not very pleasant at all. So, it seems like our target is way over there on the right. And if you noticed, our... Okay, no, it's... Okay, there we go. And our first target, not our main target, but Mr. Pink Robe is dead. And at least, he, at least he died getting his last drink, so our main target isn't, uh, isn't, uh, eh, fuck it. I don't know what I was going to say. I've been looking all over for you, damn it. This is when I normally take my session. I'll be in your office. Don't make me wait, huh? <laughs> I love the way he's all angry and he smiles. It's, that's great. Uh, he's really trying to keep an upbeat attitude. So that guy's going to head to uh, the therapist's office. He'll be alone and vulnerable, not expecting a thing. That's great for us. Uh, so we're going to leave him alone. And I'm going to try to find the kitchen. We went there briefly before. And I'm a little lost. Um, I'll admit that. So let's take a little look. Okay, I know it's near the guard's uh, resting area. Their lounge, so to speak. Um... Okay, no, not there. Hot tubs, definitely not there. Uh, 
think it's funny the way everyone walks around like they got kicked in the nuts. You know? Everyone walks around like they got kicked in the balls. Everyone in the robe. Even the guards. Okay. Here we are in the kitchen. Great. The door's closed. No one can see us. And we're going to add a little something to this bottle of booze here. Because Mr. Pink Robe wasn't the only guy cheating. Wasn't the only guy sneaking a drink. Um, Mr. Blue Robe also is. And let's watch him to make sure that he drinks his medicine. Because we want him to get better. We want him to be freed of all this, all this stuff. All this addiction. There he goes. Nothing more appetizing than a bottle of booze next to a bucket of slop. So, bottoms up, buddy. Hmm. Okay, I think our work here is done. Let's see how he likes it. Oh, he, he doesn't like it at all, but... Well, that's the way things go. So, um... Yeah. There we go. He's dead. And now we're gonna see our last target. Um, wrong way, buddy? Okay. Here we go. Kind of an angry person, you know? I've always been really uh -huh. angry. Anger, I mean, that's like a shirt. Sure, yeah. You I, know? Can... I mean, it gets in your blood, it boils uh -huh. in your head, you get so you can't see I know, straight. right? You can't talk to no one without you want to twist their freaking mm -hmm. head off like a... Uh -huh. Like, like, like a bottle cap, you know? Oh, I'm gonna twist booze, something you know off I mean? like a bottle cap, booze, definitely. It calms me down. You know what I mean? All right. Just uh, jump right in any time, huh, Doc? Okay. You got anything else to say, buddy? Any last words? I'm kind of an angry person, you know. Okay, you're repeating yourself. I don't like when people repeat themselves. You're gonna die because of that. Die. Ha. Huh. Nice. So all three targets are done. And there's really only one last thing. That we need to do. It's good to have you back. Only one last thing we need to I'm do. I'm glad to hear you're fully recovered. And that is, uh, breaking this window, breaking this mirror, I should say. No, that wasn't our last goal. I just felt like doing that. Um, our last goal is, of course, to retrieve the agent to revive him from our near-death serum. So let's find the exit and go on out. And, uh, what's in here? Oh. Sir, what are you doing Leave with that, that door, sir? Oh, okay, guys, okay, okay, it's okay, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving now, alright? I'm leaving. Jesus. Man, they all have fucking guns out and shit. Damn. That was close. Now, there's nothing more annoying in Hitman blood money than trying to go through a door that's actually locked. And then, Agent 47 tries to pick it, and everyone tries to kill you. That's very obnoxious. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, I just got caught on camera. That's not good. Uh, okay, well, looks like we're gonna have to steal that video tape after all. So let's make a quick detour. Make a quick detour. Um, the door is somewhere around here. Okay. Let's pick this lock and no one's looking. And let's head through here. No, not that way, actually. This way. Alright. Okay. Alright, our videotape is right in that cassette player, but we can't reach it until we take care of this guy, so let's do that right now. Hmm. You know, that senator guy made a big deal about clones and clone armies, but it seems like all the clones do is get jobs as orderlies or security officers. They're not doing anyone any harm. I don't really see what the big deal is. You know, I mean, they're just nurses and security guards and actors and, and orderlies and people walking down the street and... Well... In case you don't get what I'm saying, I'm saying is that all the NPCs in this game look the same. It's a joke, you see. So here's the morgue. We better close the door because if anyone sees what we're about to do, they will panic and attack us. Now, the most annoying part about this level, as fun as it is, is this last part because it's easy to get caught. Someone just walks in and sees you and then automatically have a witness. Um, at this point, 
I don't have to wait for him to get up. I can just run to the exit and end the level, but I like to watch him get up and shake his head and do all that nonsense. Right? Okay, come on, uh, Smith. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Let's exit. Right, so, we got three witnesses, apparently. Huh. I don't know where those witnesses came from. One covered blown. That's odd. So, we're the eraser in this one, and we did get some notoriety. That's a little unfortunate. Lost some money, didn't pick up our suit. I think we're gonna buy off some of our notoriety, but I don't feel like paying a hundred thousand. So, I'll just bribe the civilians, I think. Yeah. No, yeah, bribe civilians. Still have a little notoriety. And because of that, they have no idea what we look like. There's a big question mark over a silhouette. Yeah. So, pretty standard fare. Um, the person who, the target who appears is always the, uh, is always the guy who, the photograph you get from Agent, Agent Smith. That's all it is, really. Um, Another article down here about the car crash involving the vice president, I think, or something, or the president, I don't know. Uh, something more shit about anti-cloning, blah, 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 huh. Well, slow news day. So that's it uh, for Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. I'm Nick Meister. I'll see you later.